Now we have successfully solved the first layer and can turn towards the second layer. All we have to do for this one is to fill in the correct edge pieces of this layer. And because we have solved the first layer and we don't care about this anymore and we don't want to destroy it anyway, we can just turn over the cube and use as a reference point the opposing side of this cube, which is the yellow layer. From now on, we will just use this orientation of the cube to solve the rest of it. As mentioned, all we have to do to solve the second layer is to fill in the correct edge pieces. Since the top face is yellow, all edge pieces within the top layer should contain a yellow sticker. As for example these two pieces. It's very likely that this is not the case. Actually, we want to find an edge piece within the top layer which doesn't have a yellow sticker, like this piece. If you can't find an edge piece without a yellow sticker, we have to bring one of these pieces to the top first. I will explain that later. Let's concentrate on the piece without yellow that we have found. At first we rotate the top layer to align the color of the sticker on the side of this piece with the according middle piece. This is our starting position and we will use this side as a front face. Now look at the color of the sticker on top of our piece. We will find this color on the middle piece of either the right or the left face. In both cases we have to follow the same algorithm but just mirrored. Let's start with this case where we find the according color on the right face. As you can see, the edge piece should sit in between the two middle pieces that are visible on the side faces. To bring it there without messing up the first layer requires a simple algorithm which will take the neighboring corner piece out of its place and align it next to our edge piece before we can bring both of them into the correct position. The first we have to do now is to save our edge piece as far as possible away from the side that matches the color of the top sticker. This means we have to rotate the top layer 90 degrees clockwise. Now we rotate the right layer 90 degrees clockwise to bring the corner piece into the top layer. Now bring back our edge piece into the starting position by rotating the top layer 90 degrees counterclockwise. At the same time, we take the corner piece out of its position. Except for the corner piece, we build the first layer by rotating the right face 90 degrees counterclockwise. This will at the same time change the flip of the corner piece relative to our edge piece and align it perfectly next to it. Now we have to save both pieces out of the rotation plane of the front layer. The shortest way is to rotate the top layer by another 90 degrees counterclockwise. Rotate the front layer 90 degrees counterclockwise to bring the yet wrong edge and corner piece into the same rotation layer as our prepared correct pieces. Replace the pieces by rotating the top layer 90 degrees clockwise. All what is left to do is to recover the front face by rotating it 90 degrees clockwise to bring it into its original position. The edge piece is now in its correct position. Let's go back to the starting position and discuss a case where the top sticker of the edge piece matches with the left face. The steps presented now are exactly the same as in the previous case, but just mirrored. Again, Save our edge piece as far as possible away from the face that matches the color of the top sticker. In this case, by rotating the top layer 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now bring the corner piece into the top layer by rotating the left layer 90 degrees counterclockwise. Bring the edge piece back into its starting position by rotating the top layer 90 degrees clockwise. Recover the first layer by a 90 degrees clockwise rotation of the left layer. Rotate the top layer another 90 degrees clockwise to save the two pieces. 
bring the two wrong pieces up by rotating the front layer 90 degrees clockwise. Rotate the top layer back 90 degrees counterclockwise to align the pieces and finally complete the algorithm by a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation of the front layer. Repeat these two algorithms with all the pieces without yellow on top that you can find. Maybe then you will be done with the second layer. It might happen that you don't find any more edge pieces without yellow in the top layer before you completed the second layer. This case might also be the starting point right after you completed the first layer. However, this is easy to handle. We will just use part of any of the previous two algorithms to bring one of the incorrect edge pieces within the second layer to the top layer. We could also use the full algorithm, but we just don't need the first part where we align the top layer accordingly. Which of the two algorithms doesn't matter. I'll demonstrate it with the first algorithm. Locate one incorrect edge piece in the second layer and hold the cube in a way that this piece is on the right side of the front layer. Now rotate the right layer 90 degrees clockwise to bring the edge and the neighboring corner to the top layer. Take the two pieces out of their position by rotating the top layer 90 degrees counterclockwise. Recover the first layer by rotating the right face 90 degrees counterclockwise back into its original position. The corner piece will be ready to reinsert. Save it first by a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation of the top layer. Then rotate the front layer 90 degrees counterclockwise to bring the wrong corner into the top layer. Position the corner by a 90 degrees clockwise rotation of the top layer. Recover the first layer by rotating the front layer 90 degrees clockwise. You have now exchanged the desired edge piece with one of the top layer. Go on with the former two algorithms to position the piece correctly. With these three algorithms you should be able to complete the second layer.